In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite plays out of the gun tight. This play is one of the best plays in all of Madden 23. And if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description below. Uh, 10 bucks is going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Again, that link is down in the description. Gun tight is one of the best, if not the best offense this year. And this large part because of this play. And I'm in the Washington playbook. You can also get this play in the Detroit playbook. It's another really good formation for tight the play is pa cross this play is so good because it's actually really simple to set up and it's super super effective what i like to do with this play is actually uh fairly simple we're going to put this left side receiver on a corner route if you can if you cannot put him on a corner route then leave him on the route that he's on the main reason that we're doing that is so that we can have something really successful um, against man-to-man -man on both sides this play in particular is going to do a really good job of attacking the sidelines well on both sides of the field. It also does a really good job of attacking match coverage, cover two, and cover four. The one coverage that I, I will say is probably the best coverage defense against this is cover three, and I'm gonna show you how to beat that in a second, but let's first and foremost just focus on man coverage. As you can see here, this crosser is super effective. This corner route is also really effective against man-to-man. -man. One of the other routes that I think is super good against man coverage is this route on the right side you're going to see right here um he might i gotta highball that um he might not necessarily always cook man but when he cooks man he cooks man so your corner route your little crossing route is gonna be a little bit more consistent what you want to do is if you highball and freeform this you can get that animation right there It'll be a little bit more consistent for you against man to man i think in madden it's really important to have plays that work against pretty much every defense in the game that you're going to face. As you can see here, I'm able to attack a lot of different defenses. I'm able to attack cover four, I'm able to attack cover three, cover two, uh, and cover one. Now, the other thing I don't, I also wanted to talk about is I think that great plays in Madden are more about space than anything else. You want to attack space in your offense. You want to run an offense where you can actually attack the entire field. And this play in large part does that, right? We're attacking the underneath flat to the right. We're attacking the deep corner to the right. We're attacking the deep corner to the left. And we're attacking the middle seam with our tight end. So the only areas that we're really not attacking is the deep vertical on the left side, the flat on the left side, and then a little underneath routes, you know, whatever that might be. Now I wanna show you this against zone. This play is best ran if you run this with your little route to the tight end on the wide side of the field. If you flip your play, then I would really recommend blocking the running back. Let me show you why. If I run this play flipped, and I run the play action, you're going to notice that the running, it's going to be a very long handoff animation. It's just not as effective as it could be if we're on the right side. The reason this is the case is because you want to be running your play action to the side that your quarterback's throwing hand is. They get faster animations in Madden. That's a subtle thing, but actually really important. Against cover two, the main read that you're going to have on this is you're going to have your streak. You're also going to be able to throw this outside pattern to CeeDee Lamb. Um, you could freeform that away from the safety. You can also uh, throw your underneath crosser. It cover two is notorious for getting high load in the flat. That's really the best thing to do uh, against cover two. I'll show you this little seam route. What you want to do, what I'm doing when I throw these is I'm highballing and freeforming at the same time to the to the space. Where is the space on the field, and how can you get the ball there? That's as simple as it can possibly be. Now the other thing you're going to notice here is sometimes I need to freeform a little bit more to the sideline so that I can get it away from the cover two. So we have videos in, on the channel that talk a little bit about freeform and how to do it effectively. I'm not the best at freeform, but I do realize it's important this year to be able to throw stuff like that against a potential cover two look. Now, if they're running cover four on you, this play is really good against cover four. Um, a lot of people like to run cover four whenever you're facing tight. What you'll notice is that this tight end will basically split the seams and you can throw the ball over the top of their head right into a really soft spot in zone. Even if they have deep out zone knockout, that knockout is not gonna activate because he's running right up the hash marks, which does not activate in deep out zone knockout. So as you see here, I can throw this over and over again. Again, I just wanna throw the ball to where I have the most leverage. In this example, and I think this is actually fairly common, um, you're gonna have the most leverage probably to the right side. So I'm gonna freeform it up 
and to the right, and you see how I can steer it and kind of put it in a position where either my receiver catches it or we drop the ball. So as you saw there, we were able to be cover two, man coverage, zone coverage, cover four. The main coverage that this play will struggle to be super great against is going to be cover four, or uh, I'm sorry, cover three. And really specifically cover three with hard flats. If it's just a standard cover three, a lot of times what you can do with this is you'll see here, see on my corner route, I can kind of sneak that in. That's a pretty tight window, but I can kind of sneak in these corner routes. That's where the stock route on this play is actually better for beating cover three. What you'll see is he'll kind of do this like late cut and the deep zone won't play it, as you can see right there. What's happening and the reason that the deep zone doesn't play it is because this glitchy streak to Taysom Hill is actually influencing the uh, the left side deep third as well. So you can actually, you'll see here, here's cover three. See how I have outside leverage? I can kind of fit that in. Now, baseline cover three, I think, you know, you're going to see a little bit of a difference. But you see that I'm having some decent levels of success with a really high zone player over on that sideline. We're still able to throw the corner out. These short side corner routes are so powerful this year for that purpose. Here you'll see again, right there, I can kind of sneak it in. That's a little bit more dangerous of a throw. Um, but the other thing that you're going to notice is against cover three, what cover three can do a really good job of is it can take away the right side of the field. Cover three is really good at taking away the wide side of the field. So you'll see right here, I have a little window that I could potentially maybe throw that in that window. But as you can see there, the middle third defender really makes it difficult to do that. So what I would recommend is if you're getting a lot of cover three, the biggest thing is you want to try to potentially hit the corner on the short side. Um, if that's not there, then you want to try to check it down to that route to the little crosser. Now, if they're playing hard flats, that could be a little bit more difficult um, you know, than if they're not. What I would recommend is you can also playmaker. So I'm going to flick the right joystick up. That's going to playmaker him up into the zone, and I can kind of cut it off right in there and have potential. But again, this play is not designed necessarily to be covered too. There's a lot of other plays in this formation that are really specifically good um, against cover three. But in my opinion, this play is not the best um, if you're trying to beat cover three. But it checks a lot of other boxes. I'm going to show match coverage here in just a second. Um, whenever you're putting together a money play, you want a play that's going to be able to beat a variety of different things that they can do to you from a defensive perspective. So something really important. As you see there, the outside third, just for whatever reason, um, this streak, and it's just because of how far – uh, Taysom Hill gets in the middle of the field and the fact that you're on the wide side of the field. Those are two reasons as to why it's not as good um, against cover three. Now, match coverage is actually really good against, uh, and we'll show that to you right here. So if they run match coverage, I'm going to show you it out of cover four quarters. A lot of times what happens is the safeties get confused as to who has who. Again, your corner route can beat that coverage on that left side. Um, that corner route is actually, I think, fairly consistent, um, except for like a base aligned and pressed cover three. Um, to me, I think other than that, you can pretty much throw that corner out. But what you'll see here is a lot of times that right there is what happens where Taysom Hill is wide open. Now in that situation, you don't need a free form. You just throw a high pass or just throw a pass to him, get him the ball and, and go score, right? But this corner route can really manipulate the zones on the left and the play action can also manipulate the zone. So a lot of times you're gonna beat match just with this guy right here over the top. If that's not there, um, sometimes you'll have this underneath. It's rare that that's not there. That's going to mean they're probably adjusting something uh, within the match coverage. But the other thing that you have going for you is you can pass lead this up. Freeform pass lead up, and you can actually throw that over the top of the match coverage just like that. So this play is a multifaceted, just absolute killer for any kind of cover four defense, which is one of the main ways people stop tight, which then, if they can't call cover four, then we're going to be able to you know throw our corner routes or throw whatever we want. So this is a really valuable play in any gun tight offense. And again, it kind of teaches us a little bit about money plays in general in Madden and how to be effective. If you want to learn my entire gun tight offensive ebook make sure to join the patreon the link is in the description it's also going to be on your screen you can just click that link and go get signed up for the patreon page